Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Fraslog. We're talking September 23rd, I think. Uh, yeah. We're talking Destiny, man. We fucking beat the game. We're selling that shit. Um, let's be honest here. We're going straight to the fucking point. Bungie, you fucked with my emotions. You fucked with my wallet. You fucked with my everything. Okay. Um, flat out, I'm saying it right now. Bungie, not Bungie, Destiny gets a 1.5 out of 3. Because it's average, I want to say it's I want to say it's average or around average. Um, it doesn't excel at anything, and it doesn't quite really suck at anything. But it's just kind of like sitting there in the middle ground, and uh, that's what it is. So I I figure I'll uh where do, where should I start with Destiny? So all right, I guess we'll talk with story. The story department, fucking floppy dong. Pure floppy dong. We're talking... If you could skip cutscenes, you would skip cutscenes. This is, uh... It starts off with, like, a... Like, I don't know. I guess a decent idea. It's like... So... Like, humans go and, like, fly around the planets and find, like, this giant orb up in the sky. This giant, like, moon-sized, like, structure that can... Like... It basically... I don't, I don't really explain how, but it, like, basically... Advances human... Humanization. Like... So, basically, humans become stronger they live longer their technology expands further and further like light travel becomes a thing fucking i'm sure you can teleport somehow stuff like that happens um so yeah they find this this thing that can do all this shit and then of course you can't have something that good without something bad happening so the darkness the darkness is is rising um so basically the darkness comes and Starts trying to, like, kill this planet that this thing is watching. I believe it's guarding Earth. Um, yeah, I think it's on Earth. The the giant orb, the destiny, the, it's, I think it's called the Traveler. The Traveler is guarding Earth and protecting its cities and its countries and its continents. But it's getting old, so now, it's like, the protection isn't as good. So the darkness is starting to conquer our planet. But we are dead. And Peter Dinklage comes and says, wake up, it's time to go fight fucking whores like he loves whores so we end up going and fighting monsters and monsters finding a spaceship finding guns very slowly in the beginning can i say and then we fucking just you basically go from planet to planet to planet to planet going to the tower in between getting very small boring bullshit story um and i don't like it so it sucked, because the graphics are really good, and the, I don't know, the production value is really good in this game, but it's like, there's no content, like, the story just floppy, uh, the voice acting, decent, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's high quality voice acting, but, uh, the story just didn't appeal to me at all, the best thing about the story, though, is you can hit start button and go into your items, or your options, and mess around in there, so, half of the time during cutscenes, <laughs> Or, like, uh, they do these scenes where your spaceship, like, flies up into the, like, like, let's say you're in the main menu and you're like, okay, let me go to the tower. I should, I'll show you, should go, and then, like, hovers there for, like, 40 seconds, and then it flies down to the tower. So you're sitting there for about 50 seconds just in your options or watching, like, a still image of a screen. Now, where they could have made this good is they could have put in, like, a mini game of Asteroids or Galaga, um... Something like that. That would have lightened up the mood. Um, when I first played, I think it's... I want to say it's Galaga on the um, the PlayStation 1. They had, during the loading screens, Galaga. You could play the original Galaga game in the loading screen. Which is really cool. Why didn't they do this here? Why couldn't I play Halo 2 in the loading screen? Huh, Bungie? Huh? You fucking failed. Okay. So we're story, we're giving that fucking turd a, a 5. Are we giving it a 5? A point five, yeah, we're giving that shit a point five. Um, yeah. Alright, gameplay, we're giving the shit. What are we giving this thing? Because this is arguably the biggest part of the game. So, this game is sort of like a, um, it's an online, sh it's a, oh, sh it's not, because I don't want to say it's an RPG, and I want to say it's a shooter. I guess it's a, um, it's an online role-playing shooter. ORP shooter. ORPS. 
something like that. I don't know. It's it's claiming to be a uh, a shared shared world shooter, but from what I played, no, no, I didn't really feel connected to anyone. I played solo honestly from the beginning of the game until the last planet, and then I did a couple strike missions. I played the Crucible probably five to ten hours worth of that. Couldn't care about that. Um, it's just too unbalanced. I'm level. 14 playing level 26s and shit like that. These guys are using guns that can one hit kill me. They're using shit that's just bullshit. It's just not that that appealing. It doesn't really feel like a, like that's the part I probably had the most fun with. But at the same time, it's like it's not really good. It, there's like vehicles, there's turrets you can use, and I don't know. I like free for all a little bit, but. Every time I was playing story mode and I got like a new gun that I didn't really like, it, it wasn't good against players, it was good against like AI. It sucked going to multi there because I was, I was burning, uh, you can break down your weapons for money. So like, I never really had more than like two or three guns on me at a time. So when I'd go from story to multiplayer and I'd have like a gun with no, no sight on it, just like iron sights and it had like crazy bad recoil, you couldn't kill anyone online. I mean you could, but... It wasn't as easy as if you had another gun, so it didn't transition very well, I guess you could say. Um, now, I don't know if they lower stats or keep stats in place or what, because people have different armor values and different damage values, so I don't know how that really like equates to the multiplayer, but I didn't really have too much trouble winning matches, so and they must be doing something at least. Uh, but Crucible is probably... The thing that's decent, but the story mode, like, because the way the game's set up is you have the hub world, which is, you have the tower, you have Earth, the Moon, Venus, and Mars, and then Crucible, and then you basically fly your spaceship to each of those destinations, and then, so like, let's say you fly to the tower, that's where you can go to the shops, you can go to the mail, you can go to the, basically, um... Just vendors. That's where you just basically go and sell stuff. Well, not sell stuff. You buy stuff. You can't really sell stuff in this game. You just break it down into money automatically. But I didn't really have fun with this, the the gameplay. It's 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 high quality gameplay, but at the same time, it's the content isn't there, and like I guess the um the design isn't there. So I, it has to be said that this game could have been a better Borderlands. If that if it wanted to be a, be a better Borderlands, but it wasn't. They're they're trying to be a serious Borderlands, but try not to be too hardcore like Borderlands is RPG elements. And then they're trying to be like competitive, so they're trying to like balance out the multiplayer enough so it's not really like too fun. So I don't know. Borderlands just did it way better. It's that easy. All right, I'm giving them the gameplay up. A point five, and then sound design. Zero. Uh, uh, point five, just because the voice acting is really high quality. Um, it is very stale though. Like everyone's saying it. Like I'm not the only one. Um, the only voice you hear the majority of the game is your little robot companion, and he just. It's not funny. Like he's trying. It's like that fake humor type forced like uh bullshit he's just like oh, fuck. think he can kill a god and then your character's like i don't know i guess i have to it's like this isn't funny this isn't i'm not gonna remember that at all and then he's funny when you say it no <laughs> no it's not it's bullshit that's what it is fuck fuck you okay i don't know can I say the story was all over the place, too? I'm, I should have said that, like, four minutes ago, but... The story was so out of... Uh, like, okay, I get it. You're trying to save this giant sphere from dying because then the darkness will overwhelm everyone. But, like, you go and meet a queen at some point, and his... The queen's assistant is, like, this douchebaggy, like... He looks like the guy from Fall Out Boy, the bassist. They, Pete wins. Pete wins. Fucking... The guy is stupid. And then... Um... She's like, oh, you're going to have to do us favors. And it's like, okay, I'll never talk to you again while I play this game, but okay. So that's DLC I heard. 
that's going to be some point DLC. Um, and then you go and talk to the stranger, which is this robotic woman who's like, literally, she, she tells you, I don't have enough time to tell you why I don't have enough time to talk to you right now. Go buy my DLC. That was her exact line from the game. And I didn't really like it. So, I just didn't like the story, dude. It was all over the place. And can I just say that the, the mission structure was bullshit? It's literally, go to the planet. Jump on your speeder bike and fly to an area. Um, pretty much either wipe out all the enemies, activate something, then wipe out all the enemies, and then wait 20 seconds to teleport out of there. Um, in between that, you get boring loot system. Borderlands, for example, <clears throat> the reason I'm making the similarities is because this game is trying to be Borderlands, even though it can't live up to Borderlands, which doesn't make sense because Borderlands is a game that came out in, what, 2008, 2009? So that's a little sad. But Borderlands, you had fucking color-coded loot that was shooting rays of light off the ground. So you were like, fuck yeah, look at that chest. The thing is about six feet wide. It's red. When you open up the chest, it like... Like it opens up like fucking wings. Like like a good chest. Um, guns were all over the ground. You were like, oh, that's a fucking... That's a purple? That's gonna be rare. That's gonna be good. Um... This game, you kind of, like, see, like, little squared colored boxes on the ground. And you're like, eh. This one's a circle. I guess that's good. But, I never saw a weapon in that game where I was like, dude, this is a dramatic increase in damage. This is going to be good. Like, I didn't feel that at all. I did try all the weapon types out that it came across. I tried, the, like, a burst fire rifle. I tried a heavy machine gun rifle. I tried a semi-auto rifle. I tried a fully auto rifle. I tried a shotgun. I tried, my hands down, my favorite weapon was the uh, pulse rifle, I think it is. It's like a secondary weapon. It's like a it's like a shotgun. Um, like, laser gun. It's pretty good. I love that in multiplayer. Pretty much one-hit kill. Um, but, yeah, sound design gets a .5. I'm, I'll be generous today. So that that gives the the review a one a, a one point five, completely average, if not below or yes. Yeah. All right. Um, I did assemble a little bit of like a, a couple things I liked and hated. So I, I I think I pretty much mentioned these, but my likes include the speeder bikes are fucking awesome. It's fun to fly around. Jumping kind of sucks. It's not quite up to Halo standards, but it is it is pretty fun to fly your your hover jets around corners and it feels like Star Wars. They I think that's what they were going for and they nailed it pretty good. Um, I really like that you can go into your equipment during cutscenes because you don't want to see cutscenes and but you can go into your items and look at those. That's pretty fun. Um, and here's a bunch of things I disliked. Uh, I'm tired of waiting and loading, but then again that kind of goes back into what I just liked, which is where you can go into your items and look at that. Um, the level ups and gears didn't really feel that important. There's so you pick out of three classes in the beginning of the game, and then at level 20 or level 15 or some shit, you get a secondary class. So like instead of being like a, I was a warlock by the way. Instead of being like a, like a purple warlock, I became a fire warlock. And the way the leveling up works is you keep playing the game, and you naturally like fill out these like little circles that end up giving you new abilities and new buffs that to me just felt like they automatically unlocked so that's not really a good unlocking system um because they didn't really change it's like do i want to have faster grenade recovery or do i want faster shield recovery do i want to have faster agility or do i want to have more melee damage stuff like that and it's like do i want my grenade to follow enemies or do i want it to just blow up really big Stuff like that, I didn't really care about. So, the leveling up sucked asshole. Um, they added, in, like, this resource gathering system. Where, like, let's say you're just doing missions. Uh, and then you're like, oh, hey, I see this random bush over there. Is that a resource I can gather? Because there's no indication that it's... It doesn't, like, glow. It doesn't look cool. It doesn't look anything different. It just looked like scenery. And I ran over to it and said, oh, hey, you want to gather this shit? And I'm like, I guess so. But... Um... No, no, this should be the biggest thing. This is my biggest gripe with this game, is the world design. It's trying to be a shared world shooter, but instead it's a shared... I guess you want to say... It's a shared level shooter. Um, it's not a world. You go to a world. I guess there's... Is there? I think there's like a little bit 
Okay, so let's say you jump to Mars. You look at the Mars map, and it says there's like six different locations. Um, you go down to like let's say location three. From location three, you could travel between like back to level one or back to level six. But generally, when when you launch down to that that mission, because it's not you're not going to that location, you're going to that mission. Um, you can't free run the planet. Like, let's say Borderlands, for example. That's that's a really good example. Is Borderlands? You were like, okay, let's go to the deserty area. It's this huge square shaped fucking map. You know where everything is. Um, you can pull up your map. You can look at everything. You can see like if this was like Destiny, you'd be able to see all the players running around, doing their own missions, doing their own shit. Um, and then Kingdoms of Amalur also did it sort of where it's like. I don't want to say it's like. I guess it's sort of like that. It's sort of like Dark Souls, Amalur, and Metroidvania, where it's sort of like there is a map in the world, and like let's say this is where you start right here. From this location, though, you could take this branch over here, which could go over to here, which then could go up to here, or go over to here, or to there, or down here. So like it's like it's sort of like Zelda, also. It's like a weird map system where you go from like grid. It's like grid based sort of. But, like, each grid point has its own, like, big map. That's how it should have been. It shouldn't have been this... Go to the... Go to the fucking menu where you can go down to Mission 7 on Mars. This is a good mission because you've already done it four times. It's called Walk to the End of the Hallway, Put Peter Dinklage into a Hole, and then fucking... Defend him. And then walk away. Wait 20 seconds. So you gotta wait for those 20 seconds to go down so you can teleport out of there. It's bullshit. Um, I just think that this game could have definitely excelled if it actually had a world instead of levels. Um, but that's Destiny. I didn't, I didn't hate it, but I was disappointed. I think that's the best way to sum it up. Um, maybe I'll check it out in a couple years because this is supposed to be a long, long, long supported game. But for now, it's sitting down there at a 1.5. I'm sorry, Bungie. You kind of hurt my feelings with this one, to be honest. Call me a fanboy, but you earned my respect before, so as a consumer, I feel like I've come to expect a certain quality, and I was let down. Okay, goodbye.